Right, hello and welcome. I am just heading out to the Shropshire Hills to a place called Eaton Manor, a fabulous uh, estate in the middle of the beautiful uh, Shropshire countryside. I'm going to a microwave event, a radio microwave event. So it's at this point of the video that all those people that don't don't do radio, aren't really interested in radio or technology or microwave technology. There's plenty of other videos on the channel for you to go and enjoy. Uh, today is the one where I'm going to go geek out a little bit. Uh, I'm going to meet some friends from the Talford, Talford and District Amateur Radio Club, TDARS, and, and say hello to a few folks. Uh, have a look at some microwave equipment. So stick along and we'll see you when we get there. We're here. It's a very posh place. Um, <clears throat> that, those country lanes were a bit tight, I must admit. But we've made it all muddy. Um, this is the location here. It's out in the middle of... Uh, the Shropshire Hills, it's called Eaton Manor, and uh, but there's there's a number of talks going on here today on microwave, radio, and that satellite um, radio, as well as some stalls you can buy things and give things away. Lovely bit of, uh, of a location. Right, let's go and start annoying some people. Material, but once it hits the distribution channel, I'm going to be desperate to get my hands on some of this Gunji Blue job so I can make some magic with it. The 3D print element of this work has been done by 3D45 in a recent seminar. Okay, uh, over here. Red lights on, yeah, lovely. So, I am. Um, I've got, I've got an invite off John to here. I was like, okay, I've, I've, I've never done this before. I've never been to a microwave event. Yep. I've only just started to dabble in the QA100 right. unsuccessfully. Okay. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm really interested in, I've got me really interested in this microwave um, amateur radio part of the hobby. So can you tell us a little bit more about the event? So microwaves is basically considered to be anything above one gig. Uh, so we've got 1296, which a lot of people will be familiar with, which is just into the microwaves from most people's point of view. Uh, but it really gets interesting when you get up to the 10 gig and 24 gig. Uh, that's where you need your dish. Right. Um, 1296, you can use a dish, but most people use a Yagi. Okay. And then as you go up from there, um, you've got the 2.4, um, 3.4, I think it is. 5.6. Um, so what we're doing here uh, is a microwave round table. Uh, there's about 10 of them in here, various places in the country. Um, and it's just basically a chance for microwavers to get together um, <laughs> and uh, do stuff. It, it's, uh, um, this one is particularly focused on TV stuff. Right. Uh, so we like to do um, a reasonable amount of microwave and TV at the same event. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the BATC have come here in force as you may have gathered. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so lo lots of high frequency stuff going on. Uh, we've got the test range down downstairs, so uh, you can do anything from 2.4 upwards. Uh, I think they've got a 47 gig test set down there. Um, we've also got some of the, um, the higher frequency uh, test equipment here. Uh, power meters, spectrum analyzer, that sort of thing. Right, so. Uh, it does get a bit specialist and a bit expensive to get test equipment at that. Okay. So, yeah. Um, it's useful for people to come here where we've got some of the kit set up and they can do the testing they want to do. One thing that I've found is that stepping up from traditional amateur radio, two meters, you know, VHF, UHF, bit yeah. of HF, and then try and get into a microwave, for me, that, that step up was. Uh, I tried to do it on my own, right, I, and okay. um, now what would the advice be that if you really are interested in getting into microwave 
to um, get with a club or at least to get with the, a... The simplest way is to join the UK Microwave Group, which is only £6 a year. Okay. Um, and they've got a whole load of loan kit. Ah. So you can borrow, say, a 10 gig or a 5.6 gig transceiver, and it comes with a dish, it comes with all the, the stuff you right. need, plug it into a power supply and you're good. Okay. And, um, a lot of people start that way and then think, oh, okay, I need these bits. Yeah. Go and get these bits. Right. Um, yeah. For 10 gig, you can use an old sky dish. Um, right. Uh, 10 gig feeds, well, receiving things like Oscar 100. Um, you can start by receiving just a standard LMB. Right, yeah. Um, and uh, go from there. Um, it, it can be done really cheaply and quite easily. Yeah. Um, receive, obviously, is much easier because you've got things like the RTL dongles at yes. each, which are yeah. Very easy yeah. to use. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think the UK Microwave Group is a great place to start. Um, and it's very cheap, and there's all the experience there. Love experience, yes, um, yeah. In, yeah. In our area, we've got quite a few clubs who do uh, the microwave stuff, the, the uh, Telford T-Dars Club yeah. and the Hereford Club, yeah. uh, just south of here. Um, so there's quite a lot of experience around in your local club. Would. Brilliant, yeah, yeah. And the type of activities that they do, is, is, is it because microwave is probably... Trying to get a contact, just call and CQ on top of a hillside. It's not going to happen. Yeah, right, exactly. okay, right. Yeah. Um, so, 1296 people will be familiar with it. You really need some form of QSO lot setup type right. facility. Yeah. Um, KST is very popular. I've heard of KST. What KST is? So, KST is basically a chat room and it has various different chat rooms okay. for different bands. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. So, there's a microwave band. Um, and you go on there any time, day or night, you'll see people all over the world doing microwaves. Yeah. Um, there is some um, there is some problems, I guess, with contesting. People worry about should you be doing things like KST or Zello, the Zello oh, yes. microwave yeah. Zello channel. Yeah. Um, but if you just want to make a QSO, Zello is a great way to do it. There's an SHF chat room in Zello. Okay. Yeah. Um, or KST, um, or get in touch with the microwave group, and then, get yeah, some contacts, yeah. and uh, do stuff. But there are quite a lot of contests. There's UK ACs, uh, there's 1296 dedicated UK AC once a month, and there's also a SHF UK AC, uh, which is everything above that. Yes. Um, I don't think they do 24, they do 10, and then 3 SEM, 6 SEM. Right, okay. Seven, uh, yeah. 13 SEM. Yeah. Um, and that's once a month as well, and they're quite popular. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, the other thing to mention is people do wideband FM on 5.6. Okay. So there are some people out there doing wideband TV on FM, which is the drone, first-person video drone kit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you take um, a five-pound drone transmitter and a five-pound drone receiver. And you basically you do TV. It's wow! Like, uh, okay. I put my first setup. Um, I paid twenty pounds for the receiver, the transmitter, and the camera inside. <laughs> so it can be done for very little money. Wow! Okay, that's interesting. Then you can go to a little dish, get a patch, antenna, all that sort of good stuff to improve it. Yeah. But the um, the really fun thing is people put audio signal into the FM signal and transmit wideband audio <laughs> and they use that on the UK ACs and there's actually the Hereford Club are doing really well with that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. so, so there's lots of good stuff, yeah, yeah um, I, and it can be done for not much money. You know? I was going to say, right, yeah, because the, the, the fear was for me, it was like, oh, this is going to be yeah, really expensive, well, but actually... If you, you go buy Coon transverters at the yeah, family, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. But it's not that hard to get involved. Right. Um, and as I say, for six pound a year, you can go and get a loan kit from the UK Microwave Group. Brilliant. Okay, yeah, thank you very much, Shannon. Brilliant, thank you. Cheers. Okay. Yeah, cheers. Right, I've just come out of the um, the talks a minute. So there's there's some real in-depth technical talks going on, um, which is, in one way, it's really interesting because um, amateur radio 
operators but the, the level of knowledge that they've got is it's in the professional area I mean it's really sort of top-notch stuff in there way above my my pay grade but the talks are still going on we're gonna give them another half an hour and then hopefully get some lunch and talk a little bit about some of the equipment that they've brought with them I hope you don't mind me doing a bit of filming, do you? About the, no, no, the no, no. I'm really, I'm really interested in this antenna test range. I've never seen one before. What, how you, the transmitter's down there. Point there's out. a transmitter down there. Yeah. Okay, right. Just uh, see what your dish does again. It'd be about uh, you know, three hours. Wonder if I missed up on the measurements. Kind of so it's like 9 dB above anything. the reference. It's guaranteed. Thanks to combination connected to a 24 gigahertz transverter, we're just setting up to measure the power. Uh, touch screen control. Yeah. Um, connected back to the digital TV setting. Uh, designed mainly for portable operation, but just as, just as good in the shack as well. Uh, built-in audio amplifier, built-in Pluto, touch screen in case you left your mouse behind. Bolt <laughs> uh, me to say you know what's wrong. You may, you um, may high camera built in. So Raspberry Pi and then the Pluto all in the box. All the box. Yeah, and all the tablets, audio and yeah. power supplies and uh, relay control and so the um, sorry about that current sorry. So the, the port's down. Is that that is a, a touchscreen controlled digital television translator. Wow, okay, right. So I've, I've seen it mentioned a few times. I've never ever heard, never heard of it before, so. Okay, okay so you're, are you a member of the British yeah. Radio? British Amateur Television. Television, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 wow, okay. Um, just here with Dave, I've been really fascinated with this table. So, can you just talk us through a little bit of what's happening on this table, and then. Okay, we're we're demonstrating the uh, VATC ports down transmitter and receiver setup, and this is based on a Raspberry Pi with a touch screen and a satellite TV tuner and a an SDR, either a Pluto or a Lime SDR. Uh, let me show you what we've got. This is a uh, port sound 4, so in this box there is a uh, Raspberry Pi and a Pluto uh, touchscreen and a power supply, that's all that's in the box. It's connected up to a camera, you can see the picture on the, the, the camera is transmitting there. Adjacent to it here, we have another port sound, which is connected up to a tuner. Okay. Uh, yeah. And this tuner is our mini tuner that receives narrowband digital ATV. And you can see on the screen here the picture displayed from that. The camera in use, which is on the end of the table over here, is a Raspberry Pi camera on an extension lead. So if I can just show you how these work, I'll take that off the transmit, and this main menu here is how you do all the settings. You can set the frequency, what the source of the video is, what uh, encoding and symbol rate it is using. So that is a really easy menu for transmitting. And similarly on the receiver here, we've got the receiver menu where you set the trend, the receive frequency, uh, the symbol rate, um, and you just connect to the tuner and hopefully it just works. That's a lot.
I mentioned a little bit about SDRs. We support two SDRs. This one is a Lime SDR, which is in a special case, just to protect it. Um, and this one is the uh, Pluto SDR. And they will both transmit DATV. Um, and they will both also do narrowband receiving. Uh, but we tend to, tend to use the specialist receiver TV receiver. So uh, that's really the heart of the equipment we're showing. So the, the, the software that's running on these two, are they like open source? Yes. Right. The, the software is open source, developed by a number of other amateurs and myself, and it's all on GitHub. Okay, right. So, um, it's really easy to build. You uh, take the ra Raspberry Pi image, load an install file, and then set the install working. And 40 minutes later, you've got. Wow. Okay. Good. So uh, the BATC, I've, I've heard of it a few times, but I don't know that much about the history of it and okay, the size of it. And the right, the BATC was formed uh, 70 years ago. Um, you know, started out with 405 line black and white many years ago. Um, we currently have about 1,400 members all around the world. Uh, about a 1,000 of our members are in the UK but we welcome members from all around the world. And it's a virtual community. You know, we meet up at events like this, but it's very much an online community now. And uh, we sponsor a number of projects, and the Portstone project that has generated this transmitter and receiver combination is one of those projects that was that's been sponsored from the BATC. Um, and I've been lucky enough to be the lead developer on it. Yeah, great, fantastic. Great do you have uh, much to do with STEM projects and colleges? We've um, tried, tried to outreach in selected places. Uh, when Tim Peake was on the ISS, yeah. uh, the school contacts that he had, we supported that with a video capability. Video oh, I see. Wow, well, okay, right. Uh, uh, but it's, we've, it's quite a specialised area of the hobby. Yeah. So apart from inspiring people to think one day I can do that, it's very difficult as an entry level. Yeah, of course, it's not, it's not an entry. Right. Yes, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, brilliant. Um, uh, but we, we do offer free membership to students in full-time education. Oh, okay, right. So, so that's interesting. Uh, to know, yeah. uh, um, you, know, you just need to sign up online and we will send you the PDF of our uh, quarterly magazine for free right. while you're in full-time education. So we are trying to get these yeah. into the hobby yeah. and we realise it's not easy given the, the, the technical and the equipment requirements. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, if I get a copy of the magazine, yep. this is our... Uh, our quarterly magazine. Lovely. It comes out in uh, hard hard copy form and in. That's quite uh, good quality as well. That's, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, top we're top. really proud of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. uh, um, comes out in hard copy and PDF form. Right. Um, and you can join up online uh, if you only want the uh, PDFs. It's eight pounds a year to join up online. So it's not well, a okay, yeah, lot of money. Right. Um, and our main presence is online. We have a. Uh, a BATC wiki, we have a forum for discussion of problems, uh, we have an online shop, we buy the products that we're selling here today. Yeah. Um, and the, these products are products that just support our projects. Right, okay, yeah. Um, and they're only the hard to get bits. We, we don't believe in restocking big things that people can get elsewhere. Yeah. So they're the printed circuit boards and the bits that have to be bought in bulk, like in hundreds. Yeah. We'll buy a hundred and seven to our members of one thing. Right, yeah. So that's really what the BATC does. Okay. About and, and the type of activities, contests? Uh, weekends e every and... month we run an activity weekend and we run a couple of contests during the year right. and we tie those in with the IARU region one contest okay right contest, yeah, yeah yeah which happens every June okay um, and we get a hundred or so participants across Europe well wow, okay, right. region one yeah right. For that yeah. contest, and yeah. what what's uh, this? This might be what sort of distances do you tend to be okay. looking for on, a, on the average house to house? You know, it, from your home station to home station, you're probably looking about 50 kilometres. Okay, right. 
hilltop to hilltop. You can, if it's line of sight, you can do 200 kilometers. Okay, right, yeah. Um, gen generally, you're talking about 100 kilometers hill to hilltop to hilltop. Okay, right. On obstructed paths. Yeah, yeah. But if we get lift conditions, during our activity weekend two weeks ago, there was a guy out on the North York Moors. He worked into Holland at 620 wow. kilometers. Wow, okay. yeah. Two-way TV on 77s. On 77s? Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> but, but of course, we have now got global reach with the QR100 satellite. You've got all QR100, yeah. So yeah. There, there is a large community all the way from Brazil to trying to do further west. I think they've just about managed Thailand, wow. furthest east, um, on QR100, and there are regular international contacts on that. Wow, all okay. day, every day. Right, basically. fascinating. So, right, yeah, thank you very much for that. Thanks. Okay. Please. <clears throat> that was right. Thank you very much to the um, microwave roundtable people. That was really interesting. I uh, hope you found that was useful for anybody that wants to sort of get a new challenge in the hobby. Uh, I'll put the links in below. Uh, but thank you for joining me, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye for now.